A mole, or medical name nevus, is a common benign skin growth composed of pigmented cells called melanocytes. There are many different types of moles. There are those you were born with, called congenital moles, or there are those that you can acquire over time and with sun exposure. There are flat moles, also known as junctional moles, or raised moles, which are known as compound moles. Moles can be found anywhere on your entire body. The amount of moles you develop is dependent on your genes, sun or tanning salon exposure, and the number of sunburns you've had in your lifetime. The more moles you have, or the more unusual or atypical moles you have, the higher your risk of developing skin cancer, called melanoma. Our dermatologists will typically use a tool called a dermatoscope to magnify the mole and look for specific features as they specialize in determining whether a mole is benign, which is harmless, or malignant, which is dangerous. The removal of a mole requires a careful assessment of the nature and depth of the mole, so as to provide the best treatment options to minimize any potential scarring. If the dermatologist is uncertain, then a skin biopsy may be performed and the specimen will be sent to the lab for analysis. The current lifetime risk of developing melanoma is one in every 75 people. The lighter your skin, your hair, your eye color, the higher your risk of developing cancer. To know which moles to worry about, we talk about the A, B, C, D, E's of spotting a bad mole. A is for asymmetry. Bad moles are often asymmetric. If you cut the mole in half, one side does not look the same as the other side. B is for border. Bad moles often have an irregular or jaggedy border. C is for color. Bad moles often have a very dark color, often black or can even be multicolored. D is for diameter. Bad moles are often six millimeters in size or larger. Finally, E is for evolution or changing of a mole. Bad moles increase in size while other moles in the vicinity are not changing. Also importantly, we talk about the ugly duckling sign. This refers to which mole or lesion is not like the others. For instance, if a mole is much bigger and darker or itches or bleeds while other moles in the area do not, this is the mole to pay attention to and have reviewed by your dermatologist. Some mole removal is free and covered by OHEP and some insurance plan, while there may be a charge to have cosmetic moles removed. Mole removal can be performed using a variety of techniques best discussed with your dermatologist. Moles can be removed because they are suspicious looking or irritating, for example, if they're near your bra or your belt line, or simply because one doesn't like the appearance of the particular mole. Having your mole removed at a salon or spa or trying to remove it at home is a big mistake. We have seen numerous disfiguring and even worse outcomes as a result. At the end of the day, removal of moles is best performed by a dermatologist, the expert in skin diagnosis and treatment. For proper assessment, diagnosis, and treatment of your moles, you can call us here at the Toronto Dermatology Centre to book an appointment with one of our dermatologists.